In this lesson, I will explain to you the concept of model-based reflex agents in artificial intelligence. One of the most important topic, but again, I will try my best to make it as easy as possible. We are discussing types of intelligent agents. So far, we had discussed only simple reflex agents. Today, our topic is model-based agents. What is the difference between these two? I will explain to you, but I will highly recommend that please watch simple reflex agents video and I will provide the link in my description section. So in this way, you will learn more. Here, simply simple reflex agent quickly, I will explain to you one more time. Suppose this is our environment, right? When we come out from the environment with the help of sensors, we percept, right, the current situation. So see, suppose I will give you the very simple example. If the current situation is cloudy, immediately you have to take some action. You have to apply a condition if else in simple reflex agents. If it is cloudy, bring umbrella or raincoat or whatever. You have to apply a condition, right? And one more thing of the simple reflex agent is that environment is fully observable. Fully observable means that you should know each and every aspect of the environment in each step. Suppose if you are playing a cards, you should know that there should be 52 cards, how many queens, how many jacks and so on. So in simple reflex agent, simply you can say that we have to take action immediately. We have to apply condition if else and the environment should be fully observable. Now is the model based. In model based, our environment is partially observable. Partially means we do not have all information related to our environment. Here I will give you the example, quick simple example. Suppose if you will go to the mall, you know suppose brand A is there, brand B is there, brand C is there in the mall, but you do not know how many people are coming in the morning, how many people are going to buy product C and so on. It means this is partially observable environment. Take, take the example of self-driven cars. They know where to brake, they know where to accelerate, but they do not know how many cars are there on the road, how many bikes, how many trucks are on the road. So these are the partially observable environment. Right. Okay. Model base. Here I have written some information and then we will, uh, I will show you with the help of a diagram that model based reflex agent, model based agent can work in a partially observable environment. Now you know well, what is the meaning of partially observable? These kind of questions can come in your MCQs that what is uh, which, in which agents we deal with the partially observable environment. So you have to say model base reflex agent. And in model base, see model here we make some model means knowledge. It is called the knowledge based. Here we do not take action immediately. Again, take the example. This is our environment. We percept something. Same thing. Suppose if the weather is cloudy, right here we do not take action immediately. We have to see the current situation. What is the current situation? It is cloudy. That is fine. But we have to use our previous experience or knowledge or past history in order to make the decision. This is the difference between the simple reflex and model base. In model base, we do not take action immediately on the basis of current state, right, on, on the, or percept history or the knowledge, whatever knowledge we have. I will read this at the end. First, I will explain to you with the help of this diagram. Right. In simply, you can say that in model based reflex agents, our environment is partially observable. Take the example of the human beings. What we do, we learn with the help of our experience or our past experience. Simply, you can say if the same kind of situation comes in the future, we use our knowledge 
right whatever we had saved in our memory and then we apply that knowledge and take the decision so this is the environment with the help of our sensors suppose we perceive that what the world is like now what is the current situation this is the this is the simple reflex agent this one these three this one this one these one these three are the extras which belongs to the model based reflex agents here suppose if i will say it is cloudy we do not have take action now here is how the world evolves how the world evolves means our past history our knowledge or information what we did in the past when the weather was cloudy then what my actions do now on the basis of our knowledge we have to apply some actions here right here is the conditions action rules we have to set some rules here if the weather is cloudy after that we have to make some decisions with the help of actuators again it will go to the environment so here i will give you the example suppose if the car uses the brakes if there are suppose one car is in front of us and the car is using the brakes so what we will do we will also use our brakes but it is not necessary that we can stop our car we have to see why the car in front of us is slowing down its speed or using the brakes maybe some obstacles are there or maybe the road is not proper there right so we have to use our knowledge same thing if the car is going very slowly in front of us so you can not make decision immediately that i can cross here or i can cross the car from this direction right first you have to use your knowledge that in after crossing in which side you have to move you have to go right side or left side then you have to make the decision so these are three extra points belong to model base in model base we use knowledge right now if i will go here so here i have written the difference between fully observable versus partially observable i again highly recommend that please read this very slowly whatever i said is written here and it will be clear to you if an agent sensor can sense or access the complete state of an environment at each point of time then it is a fully observable environment else it is partially observable just like simple example i gave you suppose if you play ludo or carrom or the chess game or cards whatever you should know the rules each and everything of that game that is called the fully observable otherwise is called the partially observable a fully observable environment is easy as there is no need to maintain the internal state to keep track history of the world right and then you can read it this is same thing model based reflex agents we are discussing are made to deal with partial accessibility they do this by keeping track of the part of the world it can see now it does this by keeping an internal state that depends on what it has seen before so it holds information on the unobserved aspects of the current state again same thing right so here i said that model based agent has two important factors one is the model second is the internal state what is the meaning of model i showed you already with the help of diagram it is knowledge about how things happens in the world this is the current state right but we do not have to take action immediately we have to use our knowledge so it is called model based agent it is the representation of the current state based on the percept history if we do not sometimes it happens that we do not have history we do not have some already information of that situation what you have to do you have to use your knowledge make decision at that point but please keep that information in your mind for future references right updating the agent state requires information about how the world evolves how the world evolves means your past history or information how the agent's action affects the world right so 
this is the diagram which we already had discussed so i hope the concept of model based reflex agents is clear to 